Hey everybody, it's Missy again, bringing you another layout for the Shimmers Education Team. And I'm going to start with some white cardstock and this fun arrow chevron shaped stencil that I've used several times. As you can see, it's pretty stained, but it is one of my favorites. And I'm going to start with some dazzlers. I have four different shades of blues and greens here, and I want to create sort of an ombre effect for my background. So this first color that I'm using is See You in the Morning. Very, very pretty light teal color. And I'm not using a lot of it. I don't want this to, to cover the entire page. I just want to create um, a little background area for my picture. I wanted to kind of blend in another color and I'm going really bold with the blue. This is Gummy Berry Blue very very pretty color and the good thing about the shimmers is they don't dry right away so you can blend them very easily as you can see here I'm just using my palette knife and sort of overlapping the colors and they blend so so nicely and when you remove the stencil it is just so beautiful this is a bright green color called jelly bean green and again I'm just gonna overlap so you can't really tell where one starts and one ends. You could probably even do this without a stencil and just make smudges on the background. This is Sour Apple and it's more of a lime green. So look how pretty this looks when I take the stencil off. Oh wait, hang on. I'm gonna go back in with a little blue. And you know, you can control the thickness of this. Look how pretty that turned out. I love that. And then I decided, oh, I don't want to waste the paint that is on the stencil, so I'm just going to turn it over and stamp it. And I love that effect too. So, so cool. And you can see it's kind of thick because I smudged it on. And when I went to wipe off the stencil with my wet baby wipe, I loved the result of it. So I thought, wait a second, I'm going to try this again and do something different. So I got a new sheet of cardstock, put a little bit of the See You in the Morning on there, and then I'm using a wet baby wipe to continue smudging. I'm using a lot less of the texture paste, but it lightens it up and it blends it and it's going to thin it out a little bit. It's the coolest effect. You're going to love this too when I take the stencil off. So this is another technique. I'm sure someone else has done this, but I had never tried this, and so I kind of just stumbled upon this when I was cleaning my stencil because the excess paint that was on it, you know, I went to wipe it off just like I'm doing here, and the excess paint on it just smudged onto my background there, and I thought, okay, I like this effect. I'm going to try this. So I'm doing the same idea with the colors and the, uh, the ombre, I guess you could say, blended look across but it's going to be a lot lighter and it's going to be a lot thinner because I'm not using nearly as much of the texture paste and I'm spreading it out and basically wiping it up and uh, the effect is really really neat I love that it's going to dry a lot quicker I just think that's so cool you can see the shine and here's the difference in the two the first one that I made was a lot thicker and you can see a lot more of, of the uh, the texture there because there's more of it and this is going to be a lot smoother and thinner, still very sparkly and shiny and shimmery, but um, a lot totally different look using the same products. Just it's a, the differences in how you apply it. So I'm going to use the second background just because I think that's the coolest thing. I love when I m create something that I love by mistake. And uh, so I'm going to definitely try that again. So I'm going to scrapbook with the Pink Paisley Paige Evans Fancy Free collection here and that cute little black and white picture of my little page. And my first thought was I wanted to just do a blue-green color scheme, but then I thought, you know, these flowers are so pretty and why not add some pinks to this page? So I'm just going to fussy cut a few of these flowers and some leaves and just layer them underneath the picture to where they're kind of peeking out. And this is going to wind up being a very floral, feminine, bright layout. Just sort of, I never know where the layout's going to take me. And, you know, I didn't have an end idea in, in my mind for this layout. I knew that, I just knew that I wanted that as my background. But where it went from there, I wasn't sure. So, okay, I'm going to add some stuff to this background. 
at first I thought, eh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but in the end, I like how it turned out, and again, I'm just experimenting here. This is Colorings in Heidi Ho Blue. For some reason, I just wanted that royal blue color in this layout, even though that color is not in this collection. I knew that all of this background work was going to be peeking out from behind the picture, and I think this would totally be beautiful without adding any of this other ink that I just put there. I, I love the background, and part of me wishes I wouldn't have added it, but I wanted more of that blue color, and because I felt like the Dazzlers created such a beautiful color that I didn't want to cover it up with my picture, but that's kind of where the picture needs to go, and so I thought, I need more of that blue color, and so that's what had me thinking of, of using some of the other products in similar colors. This is the Don't Citron Me colorings, and it's more of a lime green, and if you've worked with this Fancy Free collection, then you know that there is that limey green color, kind of like those leaves, and so I thought, well, I'll just add some more of that in and give it even a little more you know, a couple more shades of the blue and green. And I still like how it looks. I'm going to go even a step further here and break into some of the original Shimmers paints. This is one of the newly formulated colors, and it's called Bluegrass, but it's definitely more of a grass green is what I would call it. Very, very pretty. I'm just trying to add in more tones, more shades, and different sparkle factors. The Shimmers paints almost have glitter blended up in them. When they dry, they are so sparkly. So, so pretty. This is another lime green color, and it's called Key Lime. And you know, I don't want to call it a problem, but that's one thing with when you're doing your own background like this with different mixed media paints and pro products. It's hard to stop. You know, if you've ever done a layout like this, then you know how addicting it is. You, you just want to keep adding and adding, and you keep loving it, and it's hard to say, okay, whoa, that's enough. And like I said, this would have been pretty as is before I started adding all this other stuff, but I still love how that looks. You can still see the chevrons and the, uh, the arrows, whatever you want to call them, but you also get that messy watercolor-ish effect and the splatters, so... I think it looks it looks great. The Shimmers products really make it easy to make pretty backgrounds, and it's not anything special that I did. It's just the colors together, and the way they look all mixed together is just so pretty. And that's a good thing about the Dazzlers, is if you let them dry, then you're able to layer other things on top of them as well. You know, and a lot of this background is going to get covered up because my main not main, uh, what am I trying to say? I like to have the mixed media kind of peeking out from behind everything. And I don't, I'm one to not wanting to, let me say, hello, back up, back up. I'm making up words here. I'm usually not one to cover up all of the mixed media that I do because you spend all the time doing that. Why cover it up? But sometimes it just happens, you know, you get to layering things and like here, I got to layering the flowers, and I added some thread, and it just, you know, some of it is eventually going to get covered up, and if I feel like I've covered up too much of it, I will just add more, but in this case, I feel like it looks fine. It's very subtle, and you can still see all the colors that I added. It's just peeking out from behind it. You know, and in, in the end, my main goal is to always have the picture be the focal point. And I never want to create something that's so busy that it takes away from the picture. And so I feel like I achieved that with this. So I've been dying to use some of the chipboard from this collection, and I especially wanted to use this colorful piece. It's got so many pretty colors in it. I love the scripty font, and I think it will just bring all of those pinks, blues, and greens together. So I'm going to take some time and add, I had to kind of cut those specifically to fit all the shapes, but it is worth it because I wanted to raise this up a little bit and give it some dimension. And I love how that looks. Now these are some alphas from my stash. These are Remarks from American Crafts, and I think I got those from Michaels a long time ago. And my idea for this was to spell out She's So in white, and then I want to take one of my watercolor pencils here and just sort of make a, I had to kind of keep, keep tip, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today, 
keep dipping the tip of the pencil into water because it is a watercolor pencil and I kind of wanted to outline the white letters and so you could only see the blue around it and I wanted it to look kind of sketchy and messy. I think that looks pretty neat and it matches that blue color that I've got going on over on the left. So I pulled out some of the Dear Lizzie Happy Place collection. I'm going to add in a couple more leaves. And I know those are tropical leaves. And I don't really care that the leaves don't match up to the pink paisley leaves because I just, leaves are great and I like the color mix. So I thought, yep, that looks cute. I'm going to do a little bit of a cluster here over on the right. And I'm going to add in some more of the stickers and some more of the chipboard. And I pull off this pink button and I try to use it a few times. I love the color. I think that color of pink is so pretty. But I wind up not being able to find just the right spot for it. So I decide to keep building on my little cluster here under the title. I'm going to add another flower. And this is kind of what I was talking about is I never really know what the end's going to be. And I just sort of think, okay, let's add something here. Let's add something here. And... It just turns into a whole different little cluster down there. And the main reason I chose this circle, it says high five, <laughs> is mostly because of the color. Um, I just needed some blue down there. And, you know, all those circles say cute things. And so, you know, it's still a happy-go-lucky type saying. And it's a happy-go-lucky layout. So I was fine with that. I'm going to add a, a flare button from a flare for buttons and it says make today awesome and it's mostly white but it's got blue green and black words on it and I added some darker blue thread under it and there I am again with another flare button and that pink button I have it still sitting here in front of me it's definitely going to go on a layout but it did not make it to this one I just couldn't find a spot for it now these are some sequins I love them. I ordered them a few years ago from a store, I think it was called Whimsical Twist. It didn't stay open for very long, but they had a whole bunch of different colors of sequins, and so I stocked up on them, and I love the colors. So I decided that I needed some more of that salmon coral color underneath the CO in the title. I have one of the salmon, I don't know if that's salmon or coral or what, but that color of a flower. So I pulled out some little sticker sheets here from Simple Stories, and they have a heart in that same color. And so that's why I added that, and another one of those blue sequins. So I decided I needed to add more pink splatters. So I pulled out two more of my Shimmers paints, and this reddish pink color is called Royal Red. And it is the perfect match to those dark pink flowers. And it looks really red on screen here, but it is a beautiful pinkish reddish color. And I'm just doing subtle splatters here. I didn't want to do anything dramatic with these pinks. This one is one of the newer formulated ones, and it's Bubblegum Blast. Very pretty soft pink. And again, these are the ones that are very glittery and sparkly when they're dry. I'm getting close to finishing it up. I think that's the last thing I do. Now, after I take the picture, there's the final layout. I did add my journaling and the date stamp, and then I added a aqua, an aqua um, piece of pattern paper behind it and stitched around the edges on the left and the bottom. And here come the close-ups. You can see the sparkly shimmers and the splatters. I just love these colors together. It's so, so pretty. And I had a really fun time making this. So let me know if you have any questions about any of this. Remember, if you order from Shimmer's Paint Store, you can mention my name and you can get a free product of your choice. So don't miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.